Hey guys, I hope you're having a great week. I just wanted to touch base with you and give you a little bit of information uh, that uh, I felt was important for you to know. If you missed this past Sunday, please go out online to northgatelife.com and listen to the message from this weekend. The message was entitled, Who Are We? I think this is one of those messages that we'll refer back to as we describe uh, in the message uh, who we are as a church and three basic things. So you'll want to check that out. Also, I wanted to read to you a letter that was sent to me by the director of the Samaritan Community Center. I think it's excellent whenever we get feedback from those that we're investing in and with uh, to share it with you. So this is what she says, Dear Bill, what a blessing it is to see a young church like Northgate truly embrace the calling made by Christ to serve the poor within our community. Last fall, we were overwhelmed by your church's generosity in having both a food drive and a love offering to benefit the Samaritan Community Center. When Dale Cox told me that the church was taking another love offering for the SCC, I truly had to stop and say a prayer of thanksgiving. April is historically a financially good month for us, but this year, for whatever reason, it was not. The generosity of your congregation is truly touching. Your church's gift of $1,200, the size of the annual gift of several megachurches in our area, is a testimony to all of us here at the SCC. We thank you for your ongoing encouragement and support of what we do. May God be praised and glorified as we serve those in need within our community. In His grace, Debbie Rambo, Executive Director, Samaritan Community Center. I wanted to pass that along to you and let you know that Northgate Church is making a difference in our community by investing in solid ministries like the Samaritan Community Center. Also, I want to give you a couple of things to keep in mind. We've been mentioning for the last week or so uh, in the video announcements on Sundays. That is July 7th, which is a Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock. There will be a ladies gathering here at the building. You'll want to check this out. I think there's going to be coffee and dessert. Uh, you're going to talk about some things for future meetings and make some decisions. You may even be taking some time to discuss uh, possible names for a ladies' ministry here at Northgate, so you don't want to miss that. And then on July 17th, which is a Saturday from 9 to 11, we're going to have a men's breakfast here at the church. Looking forward to that. Uh, I've asked Craig Pardue to share his story with us, some of his testimony uh, with us as a group of guys as we come together, have a meal, sing a song, and then hear what God's done uh, in Craig's life as we get to know each other a little better. Hope you're making plans to attend this weekend. I know it's July 4th weekend. Uh, there will be a lot of things going on, and it's possible that there will be some people out of pocket. I hope, though, that if you're around, you're in town, you'll exercise the freedom we enjoy here in the United States, and you'll exercise it to come by coming here and worshiping with us at Northgate Church. I look forward to seeing you. I hope you have a great rest of the week and a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you again soon.